Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today is Thursday, we are nearing the end of the week and the end of the week means my new horse. But anyways, that is not today, that is not today's video. Today we are headed back to see our horses. Last night I got a text from the owner and he said that our horses were all bedded down in their stalls for the night. Why don't Super you glad tell him that they got stalls. Leave them in the stalls so that we can catch them easier. Yeah. And I don't have to go into that field. I know. Oh, so we need to all bring boots today. Rubber boots. Mine has one hole in them. Oh, well, so you'll have one spot of mud instead of a whole foot of mud. Duct tape it. Duct tape yes. it. That is such a good idea. You see, that's why we keep Sam around. He has like the best ideas. Do you have any have duct tape? Ideas. Any boot sponsors out there on the sponsor? Yeah. Oh, that is such a good idea. No, but, but yes, I want the warmest thing. boots ever for winter. The yeah, this winter. This winter, I plan to find that's us the warmest that, boots. I have a lead. I have a lead on warm boots. Warm boots. So. I have never in my entire life been able to find a pair of actual warm boots to keep you warm in a Canadian winter. Um, um, except yes, for my did. Uggs boots. My Uggs were really warm, yes, but they're not did. conducive um, to farm life. Um, my riding boots, my winter ones. Yeah. Boots. Gabby loves her riding, winter riding boots, and actually, that actually is... I wore them all the time in winter. She wore them all winter last year, yeah. And that is... Even just going to places. I even just going to places. Yeah. I love to the barn. I'm just okay. Like, okay. I'll be back in a minute when the girls finish talking. So normally when you get winter boots in Canada, they have like a liner and then the rubber part and they're not warm. They're, even the ones that claim to be the warmest are not warm and I suffer from cold feet and it's awful. But I realize now that you need a lot of padding on the inside and you need like flannel and different layers, not just um, liner. On? I know, they'll be hard to get on, but I'm getting them. That's the kind I'm getting. I'm gonna find them, and I'm gonna get them, and Gabby hit it on the head with her riding, winter riding boots. They're all leather on the front, and then they have like layers of insulation on the inside. So, Green Hawk, when she was shopping with Kaylee the other day, and so we just have to go get them. That's it, Let's go get them. Yeah, and we probably won't get them this year because we're at the end of the year for summer, and she's going to be going into her winter riding boots anyway. But we'll get them in the spring. Or maybe for Christmas. Probably for Christmas because you gotta wear them in. Wear them in the house. So Sophie is eating some eggs and sausage for breakfast because we have a busy, busy day. And it's gonna start with finding rubber boots for us. I love finding our horses. Yeah, and then finding our horses. We are looking to see if we have rubber boots. I know Gabby has a pair. She got these at Walmart years ago, a couple years ago, and they have stayed strong through all the poop and all the pee. These are my old boots. Sophie wears those. These are uh, Gabby's old ones. They might fit me. Hurry, we're headed out, you guys. We all have our boots on. Boots are not a fun thing. I think we have to take a trip to the store and get new boots. Oh, I like mine. I know. I love yours too. Right what? What if you could get the same yes, color? Right there. What if you could get the same color again and get a brand new pair? No, I like boots. So uh, we didn't have any duct tape. So. So basically, they clear taped it. Mud's not gonna go up to there. I no, I think she's fine. We'll go and get new boots. We are headed into muddy season. We do have horses. That's not gonna change. So I think we are going to have to go boot shopping, which is fun for me. Like, I'm gonna go Gabby's route and try and get myself a pair of red boots if I can. Or maybe we'll go and get hunter boots, even though people say they don't last. So we're gonna see. I love Gabby's boots. They really lasted for a long time. Um, also, before I forget, I wanted to tell you guys that we are making a 100,000 subscriber video. We are so close. Like, it's gonna happen in the next week and a half maybe maybe even sooner who knows maybe yeah so I wanted to invite you guys if you wanted to be a part of our video I'm going to select a few of videos if you send me just a small short clip of a video of you talking and saying what um, we mean to you what our channel means to you or what you think about when you think about day by day whatever you choose to do um, I'd love to include some of you guys without you guys there would not be a day by day and also I wanted to tell you guys that lately I've been really reading the comments and getting reading my messages and I've been feeling so much love lately so 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 much love like I it amazes me the kind things that you guys say and how you say we affect your life it shocks me so much that from so many million miles away we can affect somebody else's life and I just want to thank you guys for that too but anyway if you want to send us a video send it to day by day intro at gmail.com day by day intro at 
gmail.com. Thanks. Okay, so we are about to drive a different way to the barn and through the trees, you're able to see their big, huge field, like the biggest field that the horses hang out to in. I know a lot of you guys were, I know some of you guys were worried about how much property they had and how much room our horses would have to, to move. One of the things I like about that place is that um, especially for horses settling in, they have a lot of property. And so when they're all together in a big herd, they can all separate and they can get away from each other if they need to. So I'm gonna show you guys that in just a sec. There we go. So this is typically where all the horses are gonna be hanging out. We drive by sometimes and we see them all in here. It's a huge field, goes back into the woods there. It's, it's massive. So you can't actually see too much in there, but it's, they have a lot of space to go. There's like, I'm looking at it right now. It's, it's huge, you guys have several fields just like that we're gonna go pick up Kaylee first and then we're gonna come back and get our horses we're the first ride you guys so we gotta hurry oh be careful it's really slippery oh they're coming oh my gosh come on Finny come on oh don't run in the mud oh that's Oh God, they're not gonna use. Don't run on the cement. Easy. Check Chino. Oh my gosh, how do we clean them? Oh my gosh. At least he has two shoes on. Yeah, we'll have to try and find it. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, Chino's halter on, put it on inside out. Do they still have halters on? Yeah, because they think that they're hard to catch. That wasn't heartbreaking. Tell me that wasn't heartbreaking. All right. I don't, we don't know where the light switches are. Hi, handsome. It's okay. It's okay. We're here, honey. We're here. Oh, I hate the muddy feet. I know. I don't even know how to clean the muddy feet. Do they have like... Towel. Oh, we didn't bring there. a towel. It? It's okay, Finny. He's got his girl. It's okay, Chino. So the other day when I was talking about how uh, every time we've moved our horses, they always are like when we come back for them, they're always so ready. Like they heard our voices came flying through the trees look at those eyeballs it's okay come on Gabby get over here and groom him we got to get in there we're the first um so there the, the arena is booked solid so we have to ride now I think they're hungry too because there's a bunch of hay but if they don't feel like they can eat it because the other horses run them off and there's so much grass Her horses often lose weight when they move to a new place I think he's hungry crazy thing is is that there's nothing you can do. You have to let them go through this process, just like with Kaylee. You have to let them. Kaylee is the same length stirrups as Sophie, as a 10-year-old. <laughs> um, almost 11-year-old, Yeah, she's almost 11. But basically, um, Kaylee's gonna ride Finny for us because... Mom, something I really, 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 really want from my birthday. What? I think you know what it is. I don't. Miniature foal. I do not want any more horses. Like, Kaylee, taking care of these three horses is a lot. Like Gina barely even fits in the bar and he's so big. It's kind of hard when you don't know like where everything is. You don't know. They have a bathroom, you guys. They have a heated bathroom. Or they have a bathroom, a full bathroom with hot water. So I'm gonna wash all their bell boots. Chino lost a bell boot, so we're gonna go trek in through the woods to find it. I was just standing here and Finn walked up to me and, and like was like, asked me to pet him. And he never does that to me because I'm not his girl. But I swear, it's just scary time, Finny. You're going to be friends soon. You're going to make friends soon. They're just so happy to see us. Even Storm. He's refusing to go. He's like, I'm not going back in that field. <laughs> Come on, you have to go. Your friends are there. All right, we're going to ride, you guys. We're going to take all three of our horses in there with us. Kaylee's like, wow, look at that step. Look at this stool when we get in there. It's really cool and really long. Yeah, it's nice. All right, I'm going to sit over there and uh, I'll hold him because Kaylee's going to ride. Hold him. I'm not holding him. So the reason Sophie's not going to ride right away is because the horses are still adjusting to a new place. All of our horses, by far, Chino's the most affected by the whole move. And remember, he came from a place where he's never changed homes. This is that where are his first change and already he's changed like three times. So. He's the one that is the most nervous, scared, upset, worried. Girls are up. Somebody came in and set up a, a barrel racing. So maybe she's going to teach us to barrel race one day. <laughs> Finn's doing good. You calling to your friends? 
So our kids actually would like to learn barrel racing, so this is super cool. So the first casualty, he's, he's got a little bit of a lump and a cut. Darn, we can't ride. Dad just proves the mom just can't brush their I did brush his legs. I didn't see it. It's dark in there. Well, somebody's happy. Somebody's happy. Somebody who you think would be the worst is actually doing the best. He's very responsive today. That doesn't surprise me. You're gonna have to bring Storm over here. We're gonna have to treat him. I'm gonna have to go get some stuff for him. It hurts him. He keeps smelling it and... Where do I have to get off? Do we have any vet wrap for this? I have vet wrap here. I just don't have any honey. So you have gauze? Yeah, I have gauze. So I just need to find honey. Yeah. Unpasteurized. It has to be unpasteurized. Okay, where am I gonna find she it? said she'd get it at the grocery store. Alright, so Sam's gone to the store to get some stuff that we need. I did bring vet wrap and I did bring gauze. I brought a few things. It's a noisier place. It's a place you gotta get used to this, but the other two are doing great. You know that I'm a keep it cold. With you I feel like breaking rules on the edge looking now with no parachute. You know I'm dreaming about us too. Playing around without a clue on the edge, cleaning out. With us it's all or nothing. Canter time we've just been meeting all the other people and they're so nice here like even the people are so nice like happy so Sophie's gonna set up a jump and they're gonna do a little jumping and then they're gonna go on a trail ride there's a 16 year old girl Kaylee's falling in love with uh, Finn like it's hard to ride other people's horses so if they have a horse and you can ride them like Sophie Gabby loves to ride Tex at Kaylee's house and Kaylee likes to ride Finn at our house and he likes her. Uh, Storm found some hay underneath the stoop thing and he's eating it and I'm letting him because I think they're like being run off the food still till they settle in. When you're hungry, you gotta eat whatever you can. Isn't that nice that the girl, a young girl, she's gonna take the girls on a nice trail ride so we'll know where to go from now on. You know what's super weird? Is that even in a stressful situation, like it's stressful to have your horse get hurt even though it has to happen. Like they have to get used to each other. It is still stressful, but then when people are nice and kind, it reassures you and changes your life. Changes your life. Like, love can make every situation different. And I'm gonna vow to try and be better when I'm dealing with haters on our channel and because love can make anything turn around. I really believe that, you guys. Huh? <gasps> so Gabby just did a little jump and it was kind of crazy. jumper like even if he's being a brat once he sees the jump yeah I don't know what is wrong with him it could be the food we changed their food and the one that he's on might be giving him a little bit too much energy, too much energy? Okay. no not too much energy it's called NRG <laughs> energy
right, so the girls are getting ready now. I'll put the jump away and you I'm guys, Gabby's getting ready. She's gonna put the camera on. Okay, so the girls are going trail riding with two girls, which is so super fun. They all have chestnuts and we're just like, hop in. Yeah, they all have chestnuts. I love a good chestnut. Me too. But somehow I ended up with some bays. I know, we ended up with all bays. I know. Sophie, you see how Sophie's saying that though? Like, hmm. Somehow I ended up with the Palomino with like the biggest joy of her life. And you got my favorite. You got two funky things. Like, you got a paint and a Appaloosa. Uh, we have to go now. Okay, go. Oh, yeah, did she show you where the hose was? You figured it out? Tim figured it all out? So we're just, I'm gonna dress Storm's cut. Doesn't look so super bad. Yeah, it looks worse now. What are you talking about? Does it? Oh no. You didn't see it. <laughs> yeah, I know. You hear, a, he's a fighter. He doesn't back down. You should back down, dude. So uh, this is also the outdoor riding arena. So this is where people do a lot of jumps. It's pouring rain the last few days. You saw yesterday, so there's a little tiny bit of water in there, but it's not too bad. Girls will be taking lessons out here until it gets cold. Uh, this is wet. She packed a wet saddle pad. We washed all her saddle pads the other day, and then she packed them wet. They're all wet. <laughs> um, they We came yesterday, and we didn't have a locker yet, so uh, they did find us lockers, I think. Find my first aid kit. Because I know I packed one. Here it is. Let's see, hopefully I have some good stuff in here. So there is the cut. I don't know if you guys can see it. It doesn't even look that deep. It just kind of looks like the skin is all off. It's not too bad. So where we live, we use honey as a uh, antiseptic and um, because it's a natural, it's more natural and it works really well. So I'm gonna put honey on his cut and bandage him up. Oh, Sam's fixing it up. I, I wrapped it and then he's like, hmm. No, that stuff rips easy though. So basically I put the honey in the gauze pad and then I wrapped it with some like medical wrap and then underneath and then on top of that I put the... Is he the one who lost his bell boot? No, Chino lost the his, bell boot. Doesn't his bell boot cover that? Yeah. I don't know how he got kicked. It looks like a kick. Hopefully that's good. Hopefully that'll hold. And also, I'm proud of us. Like, two old people and we did it ourselves. Yeah. Better believe if it was my horse, I'd be doing it myself. Gabby probably did want to do it. The girl that lives here told me that she came out this morning to do chores and that our horses were so friendly that they were just like around them the whole entire time. That makes me want to cry. Mom, I don't think there's any... Because I always say it, that our horses want to be with us more than they want to be out there doing other things. Like, and I know it seems crazy, but they are so bonded with us that I feel like we're a part of their herd. So they have this nice walk... <laughs> Storm! Stop. Okay, look. I just want to show them. Look. Look. This is the water. Look. Have water. Water. It's water. He's scared of it. So I actually, I actually really like this area. So it's like a little courtyard and then there's a gate that closes there, but the girls went out that way. So that's why it's open. But so if a horse ever like got out, closes right into there. I just keep feeling to see, make sure that my, my wrap isn't too tight. I don't think it's going to be too tight, but it makes me worried. Like horses, you do one thing wrong and they die. Like it's literally that, it's literally that hard. So Kaylee said that it went really well. They cantered down the field. Yeah. Did you stay in the fields or did you go someplace else? Well, we went like on a little trail and then some fields and Gabby found where you're doing your photo shoot. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. <laughs> Gabby and Chino went kind of fast? Kind of fast. Oh, that's amazing. But then Finn was like, nah, I'm going faster. Oh. Good boy. You look a little worried, I know. That's a storm. He's gonna still be with you, don't worry. So was it fun? We found out we're gonna take where we're gonna take on fall photos. Yeah, that's amazing. So you had fun, Gabby? Yeah. Oh, that's good. All right, we are going. I don't know if they got any treats. Our horses are just kind of chilling here because they're still nervous and they haven't really, they haven't really found their spot yet or where to go. I know it's nice and dry. It's drying up now. 
with the sun. We just happened to move in the middle of a rain storm. Storm's really interested in those horses over there though. We'll be back. These two are like, let's go. I'm ready to go with you. Go find the food. There's a big, huge hay bale over there. Don't throw a shoe because uh, Gina lost a bell boo and Storm can't have them because of his cut. But see that shelter thingy? Yeah. They have a shelter and the cover. That's where the food is? Why don't we take them over? So there's one field here. There's a front field. There's food in there, but there's a feeder there. And the they have a feeder out there with hay in it which as well. Metal, though. And then they have all this. And then this big, massive backfield. I know you guys can't see it. Huge. Huge. None of the horses are out here. We don't know where they are. All in the woods. Yeah, probably in the woods. Our horses still seem not super happy there. I don't think they're like getting enough food and stuff, but that's to be expected when you move horses. Other than Santa Storm and getting hurt, it's been pretty uneventful. Don't you know that you're beautiful?